In this video, I'll show you how to set up your MacBook Air M2 from the beginning. So this is a computer that I just open up, I just unbox. And with you, I'll go step by step on each uh, screens that will appear uh, for this setup. So let's get started. So on the first page, all you have to do is to select the language that you wish uh, your MacBook to be in. So I'll select English for this demonstration here but obviously there's many many other choices so English and then you're gonna click the small arrow on the bottom right corner it will load a bit and now you'll have to select the country that you are in so for me it's Canada and it will appear here on top but if it's not the first option you just have to scroll and select your country and then press continue button on the lower right side on the next screen, you're going to tap not now, the option here on the lower right corner. Then it will ask you to select your Wi-Fi network. So the Wi-Fi that you're using you at home, you're going to find the name here in the list. Mine is this one and it will ask you to type the password of your Wi-Fi network, which I will do right now. All right, I typed my password and now I'll press continue. It will take just a few seconds. Here you can see the spinning wheel. It tells you that something is happening. On this next screen, we're going to press continue. And now this is very important here. It's migration assistant. This is made in case you have another Mac. So let's say you have another MacBook, could be Mac mini or any other Mac computer. And you want to migrate uh, everything that was on your past computer on this brand new one. Uh, we will not do this in this tutorial. I'll have a separate video showing you how to do it because I really want to take the time to do it. So in this video, I'll just tap not now and I'll start fresh like a brand new laptop without transferring anything from another computer. And by the way, if you have a Windows computer, it will also work this migration assistant. But as I said, I'll just click not now for the moment because I want to start fresh on this computer. Here on this page, it will ask you to set up your Apple ID. Usually it's your email with a password that you decided previously. You may not have any Apple ID if it's your first Apple product. In this case, you're going to tap on create new Apple ID right under here. You can also choose to set it up later. So if you don't want to get bothered by this right now, you can just tap set up later over here. But in my case, I will log in with my Apple ID, which I will type right now. And I highly uh, recommend you to do so as well, because it unlocks many features, including iCloud and uh, yeah, many others. All right, I have typed my um, Apple ID here and I will press the continue button on the lower right side. And now it will ask for the password of this account. I have finished typing my password and I'll press the continue button on the lower right side. Now it will want to confirm that I'm the actual owner of this account. So on another device, here I have my iPhone. It will ask you if I want to allow uh, somebody, which is myself, to use this Apple ID on another device. OK, so I'll press allow on here on my iPhone, but you can get this uh, notification on your other Mac. It's just to confirm that you're the actual owner of this Apple ID. And now and now on the screen where I press OK, I will get a number here that I'll have to type on my MacBook Air. So I'll just copy the same number that I was giving on my iPhone. OK, the number is entered and automatically it will accept it and it will load the next page, which is the terms and conditions. 
you'll have to read them and when you're done you're gonna press the small check box here and then you'll click on agree on this next page it will ask to create a password for this computer so it's not the password of your apple id it's a specific password for this uh, macbook air so let's create one i have typed it once and then verify here i'll have to retype the same password i entered there And by the way, there's also a small picture over here. This is the picture you will see on the computer associated with your account. You can edit it if you're not happy. You just have to click once on it. And from here, you can select an emoji. You can also go into photos if there is, but obviously there is none for the moment because this is a brand new computer. So let's say I want uh, this clover here. I'll select it and press save button and it will change it over there. You can also, but this is optional, create a hint for the password you just created above. So if in case you lose it, you're not sure about it, it's a hint that will help you remind it. So I can say, well, it's not this, but just for this example, name of my first dog okay depending which password you choose and here you can uh, it's already checked it's allow my apple allow my apple id to reset this password i highly encourage you to keep it uh, selected this means that if you lose this password of this computer and obviously you want to have access to your computer again you'll be able to use your Apple ID to reset the password of the computer in case you forget it. And I think it's a, a pretty cool feature, so I will let it check and press continue. We'll have to wait a few seconds here. It's creating the account. And by the way, you can have multiple accounts for this MacBook Air. So if you share it with somebody else from your family, you'll be able to do it. Now it's loading the iCloud settings here. It's normal that it may take uh, a few seconds, even a minute or two to set this up. You don't have to do anything here on this screen that will appear you're going to press the continue button over here it just says that uh, find my which will be activated you'll be able to see the where this macbook air is on a map in case you lose it and you can also put it as a stolen macbook air in case you lost it so nobody can use it um, after it got found so if uh, it got stalled no one will have access to it I think it's a pretty cool feature too. So I'll press continue now. Here it will be up to you to decide all these small features. There's just a few of them. Uh, if you want to allow the MacBook to access them or not. So you have here location services, which uh, like it says over here, it allows map and other apps and services like Find My to gather and use data include indicating your approximate location. So if you don't want this MacBook to know where you are on a map, well, you, you just have to click here on customize settings. And it will ask you individually if you want to enable certain things or uh, disable them. So here, enable location services. Let's say you don't want this. You are just going to leave it unchecked and press continue right here. And here it will ask, are you sure? And if you're really sure, well, you just have to click don't use. And now you'll get this screen since uh, your Mac won't know where you are on a map. It won't be able to select the time zone by itself. So it will ask manually to select it 
whatever you are in the world since it doesn't have access if you uh, check this small box here set time zone automatically it will just ask to turn location services so since you don't want that let's say i'll keep it off and yeah whatever let's say toronto continue the next page is about analytics do you want to share them with apples or not you can read this i'll keep it like this i'll press continue here screen time again i'll let you read this but you can set it up now or set it up later uh, which i will do and siri which is the voice assistant you, if you have an iphone you're used to it do you want it on your macbook air again this is up to you if you want it just keep the small checkbox here checked if you don't just uncheck it and press continue on the next screen i highly recommend you press continue since it will just encrypt your disk it will allow your iCloud account to unlock this disk uh, that will be encrypted as well. I suggest you press continue. Now it will tell you to set up the Touch ID, which is this uh, thing over here on the top right corner, if you want to set it so you can unlock the computer using your fingertip. If you want to do it, it's very simple. You just have to, to put any of your finger, by the way, on this small uh, key here it looks like a key with a circle on it just press on it but don't press completely just put it multiple times just like i'm doing right now just rest your finger you don't have to push the key completely and it will tell you when it's done touch id is ready maybe you'll need about 10 times and press continue now it will ask you if you want to set up Apple Pay so you can put your credit cards there so you won't have to take them every time and type them manually. It will, they will be stored uh, right on your Mac. Let's say you don't want this, you're just going to press set up later. If you want it, you're going to press continue. I'll press set up later. Here it will ask you which uh, kind of look do you want. Uh, there's light mode, which all the windows, everything will be white, a bit like this one, the one that you're seeing right now. If you want, you can select dark, then all the windows will be dark. It's like a dark mode, let's say. Or you can select auto, which means that the Mac will select by itself which one uh, to choose, depending on the time of the day. So when it's evening and during the night, it will be dark and light during the daytime. I'll select this one since I think it's a cool thing to have. I'll press continue once I'm done selecting. And finally, after just a few seconds, you will be good to go. Right now we have access to the desktop and to all the features that this MacBook Air M2 has to offer. So thanks for watching. I hope this was useful. If you have any comments, please leave them down below. Also leave a like. This is helping my channel. Also put some links in the description if you want to get some accessories on Amazon for your new MacBook Air M2. And uh, I'll see you in the next one.